Hi hey guys, welcome to another video here. Strags. Um so we were going to um that's th this world here by the way, that's the old survival world with the stuff that I have built already in place. These other ones they're just all just testy testy stuff, but I'm going to try something a little bit different. We'll start a new world with the name of Hardcore and put it on Hardcore because we're going to play Hardcore mode. <laughs> yeah, the idea is that we're going to try and survive as long as possible. Now, for those that don't know what Hardcore mode is or how it's any different than normal gameplay, it actually deletes your world when you get killed. Um, down here same as survival mode locked at the hardest difficulty and only one life so when you die you practically lose everything and um, mob tend to do more damage as well and the hearts look slightly different so uh, we want villages we want dungeons we want all that and I think we'll name the seed uh, hardcore why not <laughs> It'll probably be a lava world in there or something when you see. So, it, this is going to bring a whole different element of gameplay now, I think anyway, to it. Because everything's from scratch, basically. So, you know, we, we'll see how we go. I hope I get a good world. I better get a good world. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Well, I'm gonna get stuck in straight away because when night comes, you don't want to meet an Enderman. Um, I'll give you just a quick rundown on what type of damage we're talking about here. Um, mob wise, a zombie will do about three hearts damage. I think it is. Um, a zombie will also do three hearts. Skeleton zombie three hearts. Creeper, I'm not too sure. Um Enderman will do I think it's five, one, two, three, yeah, five, so just over half a bar of damage. Uh silverfish, I'm not too sure. Spiders only do a half a heart and a half. So it <laughs> it's gonna be tough going, definitely. Um, so I'm just going to get stuck in well I'm going to get stuck in anyway and I'm going to try and get some shelter lots of water around us so that's a good thing now the big question really is how far do you do, how far do you bring this type of game like for example do you just try and get to the end boss end realm and kill the boss and then be complete have finished the game or do you actually try and you know establish yourself and build stuff so i think what i'm gonna do is because it's always going to be in the back of your mind what if like a creeper comes up and blows up in your face or something <laughs> that's it game over so I don't know, I, I think I'm going to approach it with the attitude of, um, ooh, some wolves. Yeah, that's really handy. Well, I don't really like fighting skeletons, so, hmm, interesting. Um, anyway, wow, that's a lot of wolves. <laughs> Sapling? Oh, here? What's going on here? Two more saplings? Uh, okay. I just generated this world, so... I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, um, yeah, as I was saying, it... Oh, there's a nice bit of flat land, actually. Yes, lovely. This is what we need. Definitely. So just out there, you know, we have all our resources, but over here we can defend ourselves fairly well because it's on flat land and there is coal. Oh, sweet. Um, 
I completely lost my train of thought now. We get some farms in the go here as well. Oh yeah. Um. So, I think what I'm what I'm going to do is just basically play it normally, like I normally would, trying to establish some kind of little town or something like that. You know. Um. Just play it normally, basically. We see how we go. It's kind of like a let's play. Um. Only on a new world. Um, I, I still do have the old world, so we'll see see how well that goes. Now there's ten minutes, roughly about ten minutes in a Minecraft day, so we're about just coming up on halfway. Now the idea is obviously to try and survive as long as possible, so just kind of a challenge in that in itself. Um. I want to see personally how far I can get. Hopefully, because I think I'm somewhat a good Minecrafter. <laughs> Building wires, it's not about survival, survival wires, but mm, some pigs here as well. That's what we need. Lovely. And cows over there, I guess. Oh, this is turning out to be a good spot. Going to need pigs because when you kill pigs now they, they don't respawn, so um, you kind of have to uh, get a farm on the go so you can breed pigs and cows and chickens and stuff like that. So just leveling out the land here now at the moment, so getting some seeds as well. Pity we didn't spawn near an NPC village because then I would have got like loads of seeds and weed and already some kind of house established. <laughs> kind of cheat our way along. So, yeah, now, hmm. I think I'm right about here we shall set up shop so. Oh no, first we have to do this. And then get a bench on the go. Don't really like that kind of wood, and I don't like the white wood either. I tend to like the dark wood better, but we'll work with what we have. First part's always the boring part, so, you know, <laughs> we'll try and get through this as quick as possible. Now, obviously, the problem with survival mode is, well, not really survival mode, but hardcore mode, is when you, when you die, you die, you've only one life, so that means uh, you can't take your hunger bar for granted anymore. Um, if you die, you won't respawn, so that's another problem.